In this problem, we're told if the coefficient of kinetic friction between a 22 kilogram crate and the floor is 0.3, what horizontal force is required to move the crate at a steady speed across the floor? What horizontal force is required if mu sub k is zero? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So this is gonna be our ground here. So imagine this is the ground and we've got this 22 kilogram crate on it. So this is gonna be our crate. And so we know it's gonna be 22 kilograms. So we also know that mu sub k, right? So you wanna go like this, mu sub k, and you label it like this, right? Which is this. So it's like a little u like this. And so it's just the Greek symbol. And so u sub k, uh, we know is gonna be uh, 0.3. So u sub k is just the kinetic friction, right? The coefficient of kinetic friction is u sub k, and we just label it as 0.3. So that's gonna be that. And then we also know, or we wanna label uh, the different forces acting on this. So what do we know what's acting on this object? So we know we have mg, right? The weight force, mg going down like this, and then going up is gonna be the normal force, f sub n, right? Anything on an object has the normal force like this. And so what I also want you to imagine is that we have essentially how this kinetic friction works is it, imagine it like a force going this way, right? And so I'm gonna call this f sub k which is just the kinetic friction, right? So this is essentially what it is, right? We have some force acting in this direction. And so they're trying to say what horizontal force is required to move the crate at a steady speed across the floor. So if you imagine another force going this way, what we're trying to do is solve for this force that's gonna be greater than this force so it actually moves, right? Because like imagine like, let's say this force was 100, which is not, but we're gonna solve for it in a second. If this was 99, it wouldn't be moving. We're trying to find a force that's gonna be greater than this force, F sub K, and then that's gonna be the force required to move it at across the floor, right? So what we're trying to do is eventually, if we can solve for F sub K, that's gonna be the force required to move it this way. So that's what we're trying to solve for, F sub K. And so the way we're gonna do that is by using this formula. Kinetic friction, or this force, right, is gonna be equal to mu sub K times F sub N. So your normal force, right? So this is the formula we're gonna use. We know what this is, right? We know what mu sub k is, we know it's 0.3, okay? But we need to find the normal force and that's gonna allow us to solve for this force, right? The kinetic uh, force in this direction, essentially, right? So that's what we're trying to do is decide. So let's go ahead and solve. So we need to find the normal force. What's the normal force gonna be? So when we talk about normal forces, we're talking about this force right here. So the force that goes up like this. So if we wanna go ahead and solve that, we know the sum of the forces in the y direction is gonna be equal to zero because we know this is just moving at a constant speed, right? So it's gonna be equal to zero. And so we know the sum of the forces in the y direction is gonna be F sub n minus mg, right? So F sub n, since it's going up, we just add the forces, right? So this is positive since it's going up. M times g is negative, so it goes down. And so it's gonna be equal to zero. So essentially, the normal force in this case is just gonna be equal to the mass times the gravity, right? So it's gonna be the same as this force because there's not really any other forces in the y direction. So if we wanna solve this, the mass of it is 22 times gravity, which is 9.8. If you go ahead and do this, you're gonna get 215.6 Newtons or about that. And so this right here is gonna be your normal force. Now we can just plug it in. So F sub K is gonna be equal to 0.3, right? Mu sub K. 0.3 times f sub n which is 215.6 and so essentially f sub k is going to be equal to if you do this 64.68 newtons so the force acting in this direction is 64.68 newtons so if we want to move it this way it's also got to be the exact same so 64.68 newtons that's going to be your answer to the first part of this question right so the horizontal force required to move the crate across it at a steady speed so 64.68 newtons if we want to overcome this, right? The friction force or the friction, right? The kinetic friction that's what we're trying to overcome. So let's think about this. It also says, what is the horizontal force required if mu sub k is zero? So imagine if this is zero, right? F sub k equals zero times F sub n. All we're doing is plugging it in. So right, F sub n, this is going to be zero no matter what, right? It's going to be zero. No matter what the normal force is, it's still going to be zero. So imagine this in this case is zero newtons. So what would be the force required? It's the exact same, right? Just like this one was 64.68 because this was 64.68, this one's going to be zero, right? So there's essentially no force. They're saying there's no uh, kinetic, kinetic friction here. So essentially they're just saying it's zero. So if we want to move in this direction, if there's none, it's going to be zero still. So 
it's kind of they're just trying to get you to think about it in this one so the horizontal force required would be zero newtons because it's zero right because this would be zero but yeah so your answer to the first part of this question is going to be 64.68 newtons and the second part is going to be zero newtons